This morning, I'd like to ask every one of you a question. How is your heart? Now, to answer this depends on the life stage of the person that I asked this question from. If I approach somebody who's about 40, 50 years old and above, and I ask this question, how is your heart? You would immediately think of cholesterol, triglycerides. Because you are in a period of life right now that you want to make sure your heart is healthy. Now, when I go to the youth section and ask this question, how is your heart? They would probably think of their love life. If their courtship is going well, then their heart is full of joy. But if they're quarreling, then it's a heartbroken stage. Now, of course, the heart itself does not feel emotion. But we still use it to show where our emotional feelings come from. We even, in the Bible, it also says that our heart is a room. That we can invite Jesus to get in. And it has a lot of rooms inside. For us to have tell Jesus he has access to everything. Of course, our heart is not like that. What is our heart? The heart is not only the center of our emotions, but it is also the center of our will. It is the thing that that determines our uh, action and desires. So what we feed into our heart, what we allow into our heart, plays a big role in how we think, how we behave, and how we choose things. So Now tell me, how is your heart? Is your heart leading you to Christ-likeness? Or is it becoming stagnant and starting to rot? Scripture tells us that our heart influences the way we behave. And God tells us that our life's purpose is to become more Christ-like. So is our heart doing that? So It's a choice that you have to make. If you want to walk your way, God will not stop you. But if you want to walk towards Christ's likeness, you need to know how. So let's take a look in our passage today and see if our heart has everything available for it to grow into Christ's likeness. So open, open your Bibles and your apps to Proverbs 4. 20 to 27. Uh, for the English, you guys can read, and then Deacon Chris will uh, give it in the Chinese language. Okay. Basically, this passage is telling us that what's inside of us what we allow to go inside of us will show outside. So Solomon who wrote this is telling his son and also to us 
to listen closely and pay attention to what he has to say. Solomon ông chỉ cái 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 Do what the world tells us to do. Then let's hear the secret song. A minkia, how low be? Then let's hear the secret song. A minkia, what's up? A lot of people these days, not only the young people, gives the excuse that they have a short attention span. 真侪人唔单单爱青年人，但是咱也是真侪有安尼款的只，许讲真嘞，注意力伤低低。They claim that they can only listen and pay attention. For a maximum of 30 minutes, some even lower. 那可能只有发糖，注意听一项物件三十分钟以下。That, that when it's after that time, their brain shuts down. They stop listening and they think of something else. 超过三十分钟呢，因的大脑可能清楚该禁起来，真无要搁听，开始想别项物件。That is why the church limits our messages to 30 minutes. 因为安尼，咱教会尽量要来限咱信息到三十分钟。Which if you'll notice, I always go over time. 你呐，注意着，那大概是超过三十分钟。So be ready for that. 所以咱就备班心。Can I ask you a question? 如果问恁一条问题。If you claim that you can only listen and pay attention up to 30 minutes, 你那讲你只有法通听一项物件到三十分钟 ，Then why are you still watching movies? 你为什么又愿去看电影片 ？How long is a movie? 是个是个电影片多久 ？What's the shortest movie? 短短电影片多久呢 ？Probably an hour. 现在一点钟。What's the longest movie? 短短的电影片呢 ？Three hours. 三点钟。Did you guys fall asleep? Did you look at something else away from the screen? Did you put earplugs and listen to music instead? Did you put earplugs and listen to music instead? Did you put earplugs and listen to music instead? That the reason why you stop listening is because you don't care about God's word. Then, so you have to understand that why you don't care about God's word is because you don't care about God's word. Then, so you have to understand that why you don't care about God's word is because you don't care about God's word. Then, so you have to understand that why you don't care about God's word is because you don't care about God's word. But don't let my shortcomings here in the pulpit make you stop listening. 但是，请恁唔通让我伫这个讲台的缺点，避免你来听到上帝话语。When I start to bore you, pray immediately. 如果讲到那开始，托恁爱困，请恁赶紧祈祷。Pray for what? 祈祷什么呢 ？Pray for the Holy Spirit to ignite a spark in your heart so that you will listen. 祈祷圣灵会点点火花伫恁的心内，托恁会赶紧爱听伊的话语。Your responsibility is to listen no matter how hard it is。恁的责任呢，就是要注意听，无管你多艰苦。You need to listen and start searching for those precious gems of wisdom. If only you would push aside the excuse that you have a short attention span. Then, so you have to listen, you have to seek for the wisdom, for the treasure of the Holy Spirit. Then, you will find it. 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 Whether you want to choose to the left or to the right. 无管你你要行左边还是行正边。If you don't pay attention, you will know you will not know which direction to go. 那你无注意呢？那就唔知影咱要去什么方向。If choices come to you, then 那需要就做一个决定。And you knew the direction because you pay attention. 那知影咱要去到那个方向，因为你有注意，你有陪伴。You will not waste your life here on earth. You do not long for this life here on earth. That when you finally face Christ face to face, 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 when you Ham ham, dia tu dia kelai tiantong. You have to listen. And then susu 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 ada tu itu yang. And then if you discover God's truth, 
Then I want to show that it's in the. The Bible says, "Put it in your heart." What does it mean? Can you tell me the difference between fact and truth? Then I want to like hold back. What is it? What is it? What is it? Fact is you agree with what is said in the Bible. Then, truth is to say that the Bible is true. Then, to agree with what is said in the Bible. In this level. Here, doesn't go down. That's fact. But if you apply the fact, that's it. Then, 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 if you apply the fact, that's it. Then the fact becomes truth. Then it moves from here to your heart. And that is what you need to guard. Solomon says, above all else, guard your heart. Solomon on Kong, so that young Yahweh, he did Boshu the Sim. Why? Because In Jeremiah, the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? In the Yalibisu, kadang kong nang lang esim long si kuiza tizui huat hang lai siak tau ni. Everything that we hear has to be carefully tested. Then so tia tia min kia dan su yao de lai check chi. You don't simply put everything that you hear into your heart. Be careful what you put into your heart. So how do we test what we heard? So I did your Jua check T D so Tiatio Mingani. Hebrews four verse twelve. He picked like a season of the chat. Shangdi When you hear something, when the world is telling you to do something, you don't do it right away. You don't put it into your heart right away. What you do is you take this thing that you heard of, and then you take the word of God, the Bible, see if they match. Because honestly, no matter how long you have been a Christian, there are things that the world is telling us that we think it's in the Bible, but it's actually not. The Bible says that sinning is nothing... A sin of lying is not a simple matter. It's something serious. When was the last time we told a lie? The moment we open our eyes? When was the last time we felt guilty after telling a lie? You see how Desensitized, we have become because of the world. And then we read in the Bible that God takes seriously about lying. What about it's not a sin because I have not done it. I'm just thinking about it. You bring that to the Bible, and what does the Bible say? When you say your brother's a fool, you have committed murder. When you see, when you look at a woman in lust, what are you guilty of? Adultery. We need to be diligent. We need to be always on the alert of what we allow into our hearts. Why? Because our heart is the wellspring of life. What's a wellspring? It is something that is good. Refreshing. Uh, energizing. It is in 
when I tried to find the true meaning of the Hebrew word, it came out as source or direction. Then I found the Hebrew word "ben," "ben," and its meaning is "source," which is the ground, the direction. What God wants us to do is to guard our hearts. So the Eden song, the meaning is to pursue the same. Because we need to guard that. In Eden, we have to pursue this ground. We need to guard it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we need to pursue it so that it remains pure. Then we In the bed, so he took to his seat. So then, this is the ground. This is the ground. How? Not any kind of sweet, sweet, chunky. Ours is dirty. It's in China, Azam. It's full of pollution. In Uwe. How many of you here has seen the estero of Binondo? Then, Chang'e, ah, you see Binondo, you see the smell of the estero. And the smell of the estero. It's in China, Chao, and Biso. Our heart started looking that way. Then the sim, as the sun quan. And then when we need to tap on something that is pure, then the soul yao to to this ge ah jin sun jiang e zhua guan lai ah lai to yi jiang. We cannot purify it on our own. Then bo ha tang jia to kai ge la dong to yi ah cheng jie. Remember in Exodus 15 when Moses took the Israelites out of Egypt. Ni ge de di chu dai ge ge zhap guo jiang deng mo se chua yi yi xie de lang chu dai ge. They cross the Red Sea. In jiang ge ang hai xie zun. And they experienced three days no water. In Kiang Dao, three days, no water. Nothing to drink for three days. 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 Three days of thirst. 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 Three days of That's what it means. That's what Jesus is in call. The water was bitter. The water is in call. Cannot be used. Cannot be drunk. Boy, dim dit. Poor Moses. Moses, it is in charge of the day. So Moses complained or prayed to God. So so Moses hot on again. He kito ng shang te kito. And then what did God say? Shang te kong shi mi ni. Use this piece of wood. Jong te cha. Throw it into Mara. Kai tim ne ge zui lai bin. Became sweet. It became sweet. That is what we need. In our hearts, we cannot clean the wellspring ourselves. Then, boy, thang cha to kai ki lat yong to zhe ge zui lai cheng ge. We need help. Then, 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 we need help. Then so yao to chong ya so ki dok zhe ge cha yi si di ge keng di nan de sim lai. He is our source. Yi jiu si dan e guan tao. He is our origin. Yi si dan e lai guan. Then what do we do? Then chu zui shi mi ni. We need to protect it. Then so yao to lai bo ho. It is something valuable. Zhe ge si zhe jin bo gu ye min jia. If you don't protect it, something else is going to creep in. Then a bo wu bo shu bo bo ho yi ba hang min jia yi di lai. But for now, let's try to analyze what this wellspring is for. Then, see, then I go home and look at this. This, 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 Then, uh, sin sim, love, and commitment. Then, we sin. 
Whatever God tells us to do, we will do it. And if we allow the waters from the wellspring to permeate or go into all areas of our life, it will become infectious. Not in a virus kind of way. Because if we live in that way, it will not only be a blessing for us it will be a blessing for others people will take notice this guy is different why is he different? he is experiencing a life and death situation and he's still singing praise music he's still smiling what's up with that it's because that person has been permeating using the wellspring of life and people are being affected that's the purpose of our life we have to be the one that makes a big impact in their lives. We have to be the one that shows Jesus Christ in our hearts even if we did not open our mouth. Are we? Are we contagious? Do we infect others with our wellspring? Or are we just like them? No difference at all. Now, how do we protect it? We have to watch out for what we listen and what we look at. Because if it is full and Satan comes along and puts something dirty inside, it's not pure anymore. And the more that you are not guarding your heart, the more chances that Satan will come along and put lies and temptations and everything your goodness or the purity of your world wellspring will be pushed to become fewer and fewer. It's a daily struggle. Because honestly, garbage and blessings do not mix. For example, if I were to ask you to go to Smoky Mountain, Mountain and smell the aroma of Smoky Mountain, then I ask you to bring out a bottle of perfume, put it in the midst of the trash in Smoky Mountain, which one will you smell? The trash. Not the perfume. Even though you put the perfume there. Why? Because there's more trash than perfume. Now if you put gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons, and gallons, and gallons of perfume next to it, you might smell the perfume. You know where I'm getting at. Does your heart smell nice? Or people are smelling the trash of the world inside your heart. You know what's a sign whether you have a uh, wellspring heart or not? The words that come out of our mouth. That's why Solomon said, put away perversity, corrupt talk. So that includes lies, deceit, flattery, dishonesty, suggestive, vulgarities. Yeah, vulgarities. Not only that, 
When you spread rumors, when you gossip, when you gossip, when you talk about somebody behind their back, that shows what's in your heart. If you are a selfish person, it shows in the way you talk and the way you behave. If you are filled with love, it will show by the way you live. In Mark 7, Jesus said, What's inside? So guard your heart and guard your tongue. So Now Solomon says, keep your eyes straight. Solomon Because if we don't gaze or look at Christ or God while we are walking along the path, something will happen. If we remove our gaze from Christ, there is a tendency that you will look back to where you have come from. And what Satan wants for us to do is we look back at the good old days. Things that, things that we are missing out on. The fun that we used to have. And the moment your heart also turns to look at what's, what happened in the past, that's dangerous. We will want to go back to the things that we were doing before. Do you remember when you started walking? Or probably you have a kid who started walking. What happened? Your baby might have been sitting on the floor. And then you came into the room. And then you kind of squatted. And called. Call the baby, and then the baby struggled to stand up. Yeah, and they do this, right? They try to balance themselves. So when the baby sees you, smiling, they took the first step and probably fall down. And then as you encourage them, struggle to stand up again, take the second step, take the third step, all the while with a smile on his face, because he's looking directly at you. And you, with your outstretched arms, calling out his name, encouraging the baby. And the baby is always laughing and giggling because he knows that when he finally reaches the father, he will experience love and security when the father embraces him. You remember that? Guess what? You're the baby. Fix your eyes on God the Father. No matter what is happening to you, don't gaze someplace else. Gaze on the eyes of Father. Because what you're going through is what He planned for you to experience. And with a smile on your lips, no matter how hard you are living in this world, you have a smile on your lips. Because you know that eventually when you reach the Father, you'll experience the loving embrace of Jesus. Keep gazing 
on our objective which is God the Father. When my eyes stray from left to right, I will get distracted. And my attention is taken away from where it should be. And that would leave our hearts unguarded. Our eyes will be always looking at something that the world wants to entice us with. When we see something that we like, we obsess about it. We see it, we want it, we pursue it, we get it, we treasure it. When we covet something, we store that desire in our heart. And because we obsessed about it, we obsess and keep busy on things that are temporary instead of a permanent relationship with God. Be careful what you look at. It will bring things into our wellspring which shouldn't be. Now, let's have some fun. So that you won't be bored. Ladies, raise your hands if, I, if this is true. How many of you here are using moisturizers? Wow. What's it for? Yeah, moisturizer. Okay, guys. We are in church, so no lying. How many of the guys here are using moisturizers? Lots of liars here. <laughs> I use moisturizers. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Oh, there, my beauty secret is out. <laughs> no, I'll, just ask the ladies. I'll ask the ladies. I'm sure none of you here are using the same brand. Right? What made you choose the brand that you're using now? Affordable? Or is it the bottle that it came with? Do you know that sometimes the bottle, the container, costs more than what's inside? And I, I, so I asked this from one of my friends, not my family, <laughs> one of my friends, and I, he said that the way he chooses moisturizers is whatever is the expensive one is. Impractical, right? Now, I don't know if this is true. Because in the internet, there's a lot of information and then you don't know which is true or not. So, if any of you wants to prove me wrong, when you go home, just research about it. This is what I found out. Moisturizers don't work. So moisturizer, No matter if there's aloe vera, no matter if there's placenta or something, something, it drives the cost up, but then effectivity is not nothing down. So check it out first. The the most that it can do though is when you put moisturizers here, it kind of like puts on a layer that prevents the moisture of your skin from evaporating. But then if that's true, then you don't need to buy one with aloe vera, one with placenta, one with... If that's true, then all of it are the same. You know that's the tactic of Satan? Not the moisturizer lie, but <laughs> more on the way he does things to entice us. Right? Uh, you, obsess, you obsess about something. And you kind of like spend all your energy thinking of when you will buy it. 
，而且在用真多所谓精神来想讲，他要第时要去买种，要买什么？ And then when you got it, you're so happy. You did it. You did it. You use it every night. You use it every night. For example, if my wife buys a moisturizer that he likes very much, and then I see it on her table. 比如讲，嗯嗯，看书买这个 moisturizer， 看到伫桌顶。Then I I would say, oh, you finally bought it. 我讲，哦，你最后买到这个 moisturizer。How how is it? 我讲啊，我好用不？ I I love it. I love it. See, I I look much younger. 我真爱真爱，你看，你看伊讲，我我看到哭个笑脸。Then there will be a time wherein I'll see a second bottle after a few weeks later. 但是佮无多久，我会看到，几礼拜了后看到，佮另外一间 moisturizer。Different brand. 白了白头。Different container. No same kind of bottle. Then I'll ask, "What's up with this one?" Hong Hong, can I just buy some? Ah, it's better now. You know, Hong, you take it as well. Whatever we obsess from this world, eventually something's better gonna come around to keep you busy instead of looking at Jesus. 无论伫一个世界，咱所爱追求的是啥物，会托咱真正无用，托咱的分心，袂注意看耶稣基督。Why do we need to know all this? Then, so you have to know. Why? Why do we need to know all these things? Because we waste our lives. And then, in the end, long way, then the same. We are supposed to walk in the path towards Christ. Then, we are supposed to walk in the path towards Christ. But we dilly dally, going around things, and not walking in a straight manner. But then, we don't pay attention. Then, we are going around things, and not walking in a straight manner. Then, we don't pay attention. Then when I ask you, why are you taking so slow in growing spiritually? When I ask you, why are you taking so slow in growing spiritually? Oh, there's a lubak here, there's a hump there, there's a tree there that I trip and fell down. In the chair, 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 the As we walk towards Christ-likeness, this is the most important thing. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will not be delayed in our walk with Jesus. We will forget all about it. We will forget all about it. And the most dangerous part is this. Because we will forget all about it. 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 We will forget Doing what we are supposed to do, which is to be a、uh, influence in this world. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow in our lives. We allow the other person to grow When the person is moving the other direction, we are the ones that are supposed to grab a hold of him and lead him along side us to Christ likeness. So, that is, the heart is strong. That is, ah, this is the center of the heart. That is, when we are moving the other direction, we are the ones that are supposed to grab a hold of him and lead him along side us to Christ likeness. So, what is the point of this message? So, that is, the heart is strong. What is the point of this message? Be honest with yourself. And to think it. What is taking room in your heart? And sim lai keng shemi mingkia. That is not what God wants you to have. Shang shang te bo ai di u wei mingkia ti di sim lai. Push it aside. Jiang yi gai du zao. Throw it outside your heart. Gai hi ah gai hi hi ah hi dan sak. Make room in your heart for the goodness of Christ. Ni jiang di sim lai u u wei tang lai keng shang te zai ho wei mingkia. I tell you this. Okay, then Kong. The more goodness of God that is taking room in your heart, the more easier you can walk towards Christ-likeness. 
你如有上帝好嘅物件放你心内，你嘅感觉你要行往基督耶稣内，效法基督耶稣，会较容易。No, I'm not bragging or anything. 我唔是咧夸口。But with my suffering right now， 但是我即阵安尼款咧受苦。I just hang on to the promise that eventually when I meet God face to face， I I will be cured。我只掠条上帝应允，当我面对面甲耶稣相见的时阵，我身躯会得到医治。If I were still, if God wants to, if I still have about 20 years more of life here, so I'm 56, I'll grow to 76. If 20 years of struggling, probably, compared to a lifetime of feeling God's love, His embrace. His companionship in heaven. What's twenty years? That is God's will. God has told me to suffer for twenty years. I am just saying that for twenty years I will suffer. But to the extent that God has given me peace, 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 God has given me peace. What twenty years? Right? Is it? I don't know what you guys are going through. Honestly. What are you going through now? I don't know why God is making me go through this. But let's let's journey together. But 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 let's journey together. Keep a smile on your face. This man, that the Chao Yong. Yeah, the world might seem enjoyable. This world, you can see, look at it, it's really fun, it's really fun, it's really fun, it's really fun. But compared to what is in store for us for eternity, it's nothing. But it's because that the world is not really fun, it's really fun, it's really fun. This world might seem enjoyable. Hang on to that truth. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Fill up your hearts with God's promises and commands. 将上帝应允，上帝命令，上帝话语藏在你的心内。Commit to obey it. 来，决定要来遵循好。Guard it. 来，保守。Most importantly, is use it. 现在最最重要，你都要画出来。Let us pray. 我们来祈祷。我们天顶的白云，感谢你，因为你今日早起提醒我们，我们人生在行这个道路的时阵。现在有真侪物件来引诱阮，真侪物件爱托阮啊来行去别的方向，但是阮知影，这个是你的旨意，这个是你的意思，这个是对阮最最好诶，就是阮要行你为阮所计划嘅道路，就是行往耶稣基督，发效法伊。伫阮伫世界时阵，有时阵阮感觉讲阮要放下一寡啊，这个世界物件，叫你帮助阮，记得这个跩物件对阮也是无好。就阮只要追求你的话语，只要追求你好的物件来藏在阮的心内，托阮有一日，我通面对面甲你相见，你有法通对阮来讲，阮做得好，还是进入阮的天天天顶的天天界，阮感谢你，阮祈祷是靠主耶稣基督的圣名，阿门。Thank you guys, God bless you all.